sure the man you saw meeting with Alcazar was James Craig? Positive. The man was standing in my living room less than an hour ago. Why'd you risk going back? To warn you. Sky overheard Alcazar and James Craig planning to take us out. You know, everyone kept telling me that I shouldn't leave Jake in the nursery, but I knew that you'd want to see him the moment you woke up. Oh, and now I just can't wait to get him home to introduce him to his big brother. And very soon you're going to be sleeping in your own crib, in your own room. <laughs> yeah, your mommy, she went all out on the jungle thing. She painted lions and elephants all over the wall so they'd watch over you when we couldn't. <laughs> Not that you're going to be spending too much time alone. I don't think your daddy has let you out of his sight for five minutes. Oh, what can I say? I'm an excited dad. <laughs> you looking around out here for a reason? I saw you eye in Elizabeth's room the whole time I was in 415 changing the dressing on that fool who passed out and hit his head while his <laughs> wife was having his baby. <laughs> I did come to see the baby, yeah. Well, it's kind of hard to do from all the way out here. No, I know. But Lucky and Elizabeth have had a ton of visitors today, and I think they could use some time alone. Then why are you still standing out here? I don't know, Epiphany. You know Elizabeth and I aren't the best of friends, but I spent all that time with her during the hotel crisis, and I feel like I, I coached her through it, you know? I was like, breathe and stay calm. You're not going to have your baby yet. And I just, I guess I feel some sort of connection to the baby. I'm not going to surprise officers gearing up to come after us after that botched ambush at the cellar. But why is, why is Craig back? Well, maybe he never left. Is that true? I don't know. Today's the first time I've seen him since the whole Metro Court deal fell apart. How much information did you withhold that night to protect Alcazar? Look, I'm just asking. I didn't want anyone to get hurt, okay? If I could do it all over again, I would. Okay, what, what, what did you overhear Alcazar and Craig talking about? Craig said if Lorenzo didn't take out you and Jason, he'd kill him. Okay, we appreciate the warning. Sonny, look, Lorenzo has my daughter. If he dies first, I may never get a chance to see her again, okay? Look, I I know that you don't have any reason to help me, absolutely none, but come on, you're a father, okay? You have a little girl of your own. So I'm begging you, please, just, just give me some more time. Alcazar. Don't let Craig kill Lorenzo. Don't let Craig kill Lorenzo before I get a chance to Alcazar find her. Alcazar is safe for now. Thank you. But Mr. Craig is a different story. He's not going to make it to the night. He'd be halfway around the world by now. What do you think is keeping him? <sighs> Whatever it is, Craig isn't going to live long enough for it to matter. Okay. You gotta be smart about this. Craig doesn't care who he hurt in that hotel. You do. You let this thing get too personal. You are the last time I dead. tried to kill him, he said we only get one father. Now he is gonna pay for killing Alan. You see. Hey. Hi. <coughs> I'm so sorry to intrude. I wanted to drop this off for a little. Jake. Well, actually, it's Jacob Martin Spencer. Jake. That's a, a good, strong name. You know what? That's what everyone keeps saying. I guess you made the right call. Guess so. <laughs> well, come in, see him. Are you sure? Yeah, Jake, he loves visitors, especially ones that bring presents. Oh, look. <laughs> Hi. Oh, he is beautiful. Look at those eyes, wow. Yeah, he gets those from his grandma, Laura. You want to hold him? L lucky. You're gonna, you'll have to excuse him. He's been passing Jake around all morning. He doesn't get that some people might not want to hold a newborn. No, I, I don't mind if it's okay with you. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Here, hold this pop up for a minute. Which arm? Oh. Like that? Okay. Any? Got him? Hi, Jake. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. What? What? I want you to run a trace on every call Alcazar has received in the last two days, okay? That's all? Yeah, yeah, no, okay. Um, I just, when you said it was urgent, I just assumed that it would be a little more earth shattering than yeah, cyber. Well, one of the calls came from James Craig. The unhinged one's back? 
No. I have to wear the long one. Okay, no, 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 no. The best way to protect Lulu is to find Craig. Can you help me? Right now or not? Yes. Yes, no. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Okay. Um, all right. Just give me a few seconds to hack into Evil Al's computer records, his phone records, and I'll cross-reference hey, him. Hey, let go! Well, Mr. Morgan is in a meeting. Get your hands off of me! Is there a problem? Jason, thank God. I really need you to talk what? to you. You know what? I'm it's actually in the, in the middle of something very important. Please, this is life or death. It's just going to take five minutes. I know you have no reason to trust me, but I really need to talk to you alone. Careful, Stone Cold. The bad blonde one speaks with a forked tongue. Why don't you start your project outside? It's going to take a few minutes. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The blonde one's erring brother may have succumbed to your duplicitous advances, but Stone Cold will not be swayed. Okay, what do you want? James Craig is back in town and I can help you find him. Did you have plans? Into Coop in the alley behind the police station and he was talking to this guy. I didn't get to see his face. He took off before I could, but I know it was Craig. Uh, it could have been anybody. No, no, Coop admitted it. He told me Craig was in town just so I would back off and let him handle it. All right, what did Craig want? Help with the cops. He said that he would kill Coop if he didn't cooperate. I mean, that's what Sonny's doing to him, too, right? Coop becomes a cop and then gives information to you and Sonny just so he could stay alive. Coop's talking way too much. No. He only told me today after I already saw Craig. How do you know that he isn't lying to cover for his old boss? If he's loyal to anybody, wouldn't it be Craig? I was locked in that vault for hours with Coop. I got to know him. He's not a psycho like Craig. Yeah, he, he made a bad decision, but I don't blame him. I mean, I wouldn't turn down a million dollars for a few minutes of work, but now he's stuck between Craig, you, and Sonny, and I just don't want him to get hurt. Does he know where to find Craig or how to contact him? Well, that's why I'm here. Coop said... Hello? Okay, you made the right decision. I'll, I'll call you in a few minutes, okay? Craig agreed to meet Coop in the Rush Street Alley in 15 minutes. The rest is up to you.